What's up guys, today I'm bringing to you another video. First look at the light source that I chose to go with for my sit down talking head videos like this. I chose to go with the SL60W instead of the 120D because it's a quarter of the price. That means so much to me. I wanted a 120D so bad and I just couldn't afford to spend a thousand dollars on a light at the moment at least it just it's not for me I went with the Godox SL60W it's a fixed 5600 daylight that is not temperature adjustable just like the 120D is by the way so it's not like you're losing out on anything compared to the aperture this light i can't say enough good things about this light for the price you're getting so much value for your money um it comes with a remote the remote has a screen on it and it tells you the percentage you're on the uh kelvin which doesn't really matter because it's not temperature controllable and it is nice to know if you want to set your white balance when i got the remote it first said 4400k and i found that was a little strange because the light is fixed at 5600 but when i did change it to 5600 it gave me more flexibility on the percentage that i was able to adjust the light because at 4400 for some reason it was only letting me bring the light down to 25 percent the least that it would go and when i put the right temperature on there I set the right temperature on the remote. It let me bring it down to 10%. I don't know why that is, but obviously you want to be able to have the most flexibility as possible when you're using your light. And that's perfect for me because this light is very powerful and it's being double diffused at the moment and it's only at 15%. So I'm lighting this whole room at 15% at the moment. If I shut this light off, it's pretty much pitch black. The only thing that is lit is the RGB lighting behind me and my screen, which is very dim. So light back on so you guys can see what's going on. I can go down to 10% here. That's 10%, very nice. It's the light is so soft, it's beautiful. You don't see any harsh lighting, especially if I was to bring it up to 100%, which it takes a little while on the remote. It's not as quick as I would like, but 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100%. This is what the light looks like at 100%. A little bit, you see some shadows, nothing crazy. Look at the back. If I did not have this diffuser on the light, it would be crazy you would see shadows everywhere but i'm gonna get to the diffuser in a few minutes bear with me i did buy the light i need to bring this down it's very bright Forty, thirty, twenty. i'm good at about 15. i'm also shooting at iso 500 on the a7 III at 1.8 so this if you have a similar setup this is kind of what you'll get and i can't complain i love it danny can't complain so listen two minutes and you can have this light up set up and ready and that is a beautiful part about this thing it's basically plug and play it's so easy to use anyone can do it the light dome let's talk about that i went with the photodiox easy parabolic softbox 36 inch they also make i believe a 28 inch and they make a 46 inch something like that i'll leave the links down below but this thing is huge trust me it dwarfs everything in the room it's 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 huge and the bigger remember the bigger the light source is the softer the light is gonna give off now i could have got a grid to uh focus that light more on me and to let it not spill as much on the background but i'm gonna do some testing on that in the future at the moment this is more than sufficient i love it i cannot complain at all i was gonna get at first a couple of led panels 
and I think they would have been all right for what I needed but I was trying to get the softest light possible and LED panels they're so small that they still give out harsh lighting they're not able to be diffused like this is it's like night and day compared to LED panels that are diffused in any way unless you put an LED panel that's very powerful inside of a light dome like this then maybe you can get something similar to this but there's nothing better than having one LED that's very powerful in a soft box giving out that very beautiful lighting um, like I said it's very soft I like the more dim look and more a little bit more dramatic and this is what I'm getting this is probably the way I'm gonna be doing a lot of my sit down talking head videos and bear with me what else do I want to talk about the light stand let's talk about the light stand a little bit I got all three of these parts in B&H so this light stand I'm not sure if it's only a B&H exclusive I'm sure you could buy this brand in other places um, but it's the impact heavy dewy air cushioned light stand it's a lot bigger it's it's huge it's not one of those flimsy light stands that usually come free when you buy lights on Amazon or maybe on eBay but this thing for the price I believe the regular price for this one light stand was $80 $79.99 and I got it for $49.99 so half off half off about no it was $39.99 it was half off it was $39.99 the easy box I believe it was 70 about 70 bucks and I got everything for $245 shipped a quarter of what the 120d with a C stand or even a light stand and the light dome too. All three of those are about a thousand dollars. I will also put the links to those in the description. Now, I'm not doing affiliate marketing. I'm just putting these down there for you guys so that you can compare pricing and you can see the difference on all these products. So, hopefully that helps you out in your process of looking for a light i looked all over i looked at so many lights on b h on amazon and then i watched so many videos on youtube about light and there wasn't that many videos on this so it was hard for me to pull the trigger and get this light but i did go out and get this light because i figured if this works for a quarter of the price as good or even if it's half as good then i came off listen this is a 60 watt light that's why it's called the sl60w white the 120d is 120 watt light but i can tell you from all the reviews i've seen from all the videos i've seen this light is not half the light output it's basically 75 percent to 80 percent of the light output that the 120d is putting out so take that with a grain of salt that's not proven I haven't tested that but this thing is very powerful as you can see I'm listen I would buy this light 10 times over if I had to it's that good I hope you guys like this whole lighting situation this is the lighting situation that pleases me and I hope it pleases you guys when I make videos in the future checking out